welcome dear students class 9 history first chapter the french revolution one of the famous incident in the history french revolution it is happened in 14th july 1789 so in this chapter we are going to discuss first of all what was the condition in france in 18th century what was the condition in france in 18th century second we are going to discuss what was the condition of the french society that is french society in the late 18th century then the third one we are going to discuss the struggle to survive and the fourth one we are going to discuss a growing middle class and the fifth one we are going to discuss the french philosophies otherwise simply we can say what are the incidents that led to the french revolution so all these five are the five things are the important reasons that led to the french revolution what was the condition in france and how was the society and the struggle to survive and the emergence of the middle class and the writings of the philosophies all these are help for the starting of french revolution so one by one we can discuss first of all we can discuss what was the condition in uh, france in 18th century the political condition in france in 18th century so before uh, we are discussing about the french revolution what are the incidents that led to the french revolution so in 1774 In 1774, Louis XVI of the Bourbon family he ascended to throne. He came to the power. He belongs to the Bourbon dynasty, Bourbon family. In 1774, Louis XVI. At that time, he was 20 years old, and he married to the Austrian princess Marie Antoinette. And when he ascended to the throne, when he came to the power, he found that the treasury was empty. Why the treasury was empty? because of the long years of war it drained the financial resources of france and under louis 16 france helped the 13 american colonies to gain their independence from the common enemy britain so because of this type of long wars the financial resources drained in france because that is why the treasury was empty at that time in 1774 and the french government began to borrow some money from the money lenders so the money lenders they began to charge 10 percentage interest on loans and to meet their regular expenses the state was forced to increase taxes because of the empty treasury the government compelled to increase taxes So this was the political condition in France during the time of the late 18th century. So that is the first point. France what was the condition of France in 18th century? Then the second thing we are going to discuss what was the condition of the French society in the 18th century? So we can discuss the French society how was the French society divided? The French society divided into three estates. first estate the clergy second estate the nobility and the third estate they belongs to the majority that means the big businessmen merchants officials peasants and artisans small peasants landless laborers servants all these are belongs to the third estate they are they were the majority what was the three estates French society in 18th century was divided into three estates and only members of the third estate paid taxes that is the things the first and second estate they have some privileges based on their birth because they belongs to the higher classes they were exempted they were avoided from the taxes so the french society in the 18th century it was divided into three estates and the members of the third estate only uh, they have to pay the taxes the society of estates was a part of the feudal system 
old regime is usually used to describe the society and institutions of France before 1789. What was the condition existed in France before the French Revolution? That is before 1789. That system commonly called as old regime. That is the feudal system existed in France. The feudal landlords are there. and in there in the in those uh, landlords farm or fields the common people want to work that was the feudal system and the common people the especially the peasants they want to pay some taxes to the uh, lords feudal lords there is a feudal system existed at that time and peasants made up of say 90% of the population only a small number of them on the land they cultivated so among the three estates the 90 percentage included in the uh, peasants and among these 90 percentage peasants a small number only possessed some lands all others are landless people and 60 percentage of the land was owned by nobles the church and other rich members of the rich members of the third estate So, 60 percentage of the land was owned by nobles, uh, the church, and other richer members of the third estates. The first two estates, the first two groups, the higher classes, that is the clergy and the nobility, enjoyed certain privileges by birth. They were avoided from paying taxes, and there are so many other privileges based on their birth in the uh, first and second estate. the nobility and the clergy so this is about the condition of france in the 18th century the french society the condition of french society the, how the french society was divided in 18th century and also the first and the second estate the clergy and the nobility they had some exemption from paying taxes and the nobles further enjoyed feudal privileges and the church too taken taxes called tithes from the peasants one of the taxes uh, charged by the church and all members of the third estate had to pay a direct tax called taille and a number of indirect taxes so these type of various taxes tithes taille such as the different taxes only only a want to pay by the third estate so this was the condition of the french society during the 18th century so this is the second point the french society in the 18th century now the third point <coughs> now that this was the condition of france the treasury was empty and also the government increased taxes so almost all these taxes only want to pay by the third state so the people began to struggle so how they survive the that means the struggle to survive from the poverty the population of france rose 23 million in 1715 that rise into 28 million in 1789 the population increased in france and also because of the increase of the population that led to a rapid increase in the demand of food grains so population increase automatically the demands for food grains also increased so production of grains could not keep pace so population increase demand for food grains also increased so accordingly the production of food grains could not keep in pace that means that much quantity food grains not produced the price of bread that was the staple diet of the majority people in france its price also rose rapidly the price of bread also increased and most of the people in france especially in the third estate they were workers so the employees they didn't increase the wages so when the tax is increasing automatically the workers uh, salary also want to increase then only they can meet their livelihood but their wages their salary not increased so there was a gap between the poor and the rich widened in france 
and drought or hail reduced the harvest along with these type of difficulties facing then the time drought and also that is because of the drought or hail it reduced the harvest and ultimately this led to a subsistence crisis an economic crisis also happened this is the the struggle to survive that means the people began to fa face so much difficulty to meet their livelihood that is the subsistence crisis so this is the third one the struggle to survive and the fourth one a growing middle class so while this type of incidents are happening in france at that time there is an emergence of a new class that is the middle class that is the middle what is the middle class in 18th century it witnessed the emergence of social groups termed as the middle class a new class emerged that is the middle class then which are the groups included in the middle class merchants manufacturers the third estate included professional professions such as lawyers or administrative officials these all group comprised the middle class merchants manufacturers professionals lawyers such as the officials all these are included in the middle class and what is the peculiarity of these people all of these were educated and believed that no group in society should be privileged by birth such as the uh, things they began to proclaim they were educated and believed no group in society should be privileged by birth a person's social position must depend on his merit not by birth a society based on freedom and equal laws and opportunities for all such as the new terms new freedom messages they began to put forward a society based on freedom and equal laws for all and opportunities for all that they began to put forward they put forward by philosophy such as john locke j j rousseau such a such philosophy such great philosophy's message they began to uh, uh, put forward so these were the educated middle class people they began to spread some ideas of freedom equality such as the things they began to introduce among the french people so this is the fourth one the growing middle class now the fifth one the french philosophers also helped they began to spread their ideas through newspapers books against this type of monarchy nobility feudal system what is that the french philosophers john locke in his book that is two treatises of government he began to refute the doctrine of the divine and absolute right of the monarch he began to criticize the divine power and also the absolute right of the monarch rousseau one of the another famous philosopher he proposing a form of government based on a social contract between people and their representatives so a form of government want to come between a, a, on a social contract between people and their representatives and montesquieu one of the another philosopher in his book the spirit of the laws proposed a division of power between the legislative executive and judiciary such as the new terms he began to introduce and the ideas of these philosophers locke rousseau montesquieu this type of philosophers ideas were discussed in salons and coffee houses wherever the people gathering in the public places everywhere these philosophers ideas began to discuss and those ideas began to spread among the people through books and newspapers and some of the people may be illiterate they can't read uh, they can't read and in th to those people by considering those people one of the illiterate persons they began to read aloud in groups for those who could not read and write 
that means the ideas of this type of philosophies otherwise the books of these philosophies otherwise the news came in the newspapers they began to read aloud to those people who could not read and write and also when these type of incidents are happening then the news came what is the news louis 16 plan to impose further taxes land uh, louis impose uh, sorry louis 16 he planned to increase taxes and that news anchored and it raised some protest against the system of privileges and the people began to turn against the monarchy that is the thing happened for the french revolution that is the thing for the outbreak of the french revolution so that is enough for today this is the first part what is the incidents that led to the outbreak of the french revolution 1789 so we discussed the major five things what was the condition in france in 18th century what was the condition of french society and the struggle to survive from the economic crisis and the emergence of a new middle class and also the contribution of the french philosophies for the outbreak of french revolution so okay thank you we can see again with the next part